Hey guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. So we are, well yesterday marked this last half of the year and I think we need to talk about it. So today's topic is the final six because it's the final six months of the year. Hopefully I didn't need to say that, but in case I did, it is the final six months of the year and I want to talk about what is the game plan, what are we going to accomplish, what are we going to solidify before 2018 is over. We made all these amazing goals at the beginning of the year, action plans, the whole nine yards, trying to figure out how to be successful in 2018, how to win in 2018, how to live our best lives in 2018. Where are we with those? You know? And if we're not where we want to be with those goals, because some of my goals, I'm not at all where I want to be with those goals. However, July 1st marked the, the cutoff where it's a new second half of the year and we're really going to be focused. I know I am. I can't speak for you guys. I hope you are. Um, but I plan to be extremely focused on my goals. I am actually going to share those with you um, in a little bit, but I am very going to be focused just really working towards achieving the very things that I said that I wanted to achieve and making sure that I don't have distractions or um, things in place that are going to keep me from my goals. With that being said, please don't ask me to go out to eat. I don't know how to say no to going out to eat. And I need to say no to going out to eat because time. I need my time. Reclaiming my time. <laughs> I love Auntie Maxine. But yes, reclaiming my time from food. Like, just don't ask me, guys. Seriously, it's not okay. It's not. All right, so I brought out my goals for you guys. Can you see them? Okay. We'll go through. All right. So first I have my rules. Let me actually turn this this way. Can you see them? Yes. All right. So rule number one, self-care is a priority and will be honored at all times. Rule number two, live your best life. Number three, whatever is good for your soul, do that. Number four, work hard and rest hard. Number five, learn to say no. Honor yourself, your time, and your energy. As for my goals, I plan to pay off all my credit cards, publish book number two, the book release party I'm aiming for October 7th. Um, so you guys are getting a sneak preview to that that date. So there's that. Um, I want to be able to hire a publicist by the end of this year. Shine Heart Coaching is a program I'm working with um, to get that going. I want to have five additional speaking engagements by the end of the year. I want to open a CD in August and November. Um, I currently have one, but I want to open two more. I want to attend at least five concerts. I want to start my fall classes for grad school and take at least one trip per month. So the reason I shared that with you guys, A, I'm big on transparency. You should know that by now. I'm big on being open and honest and just throwing it all out there. Cool. Beyond that, I wanted to show you guys that you have to be strategic and you have to be focused on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So I came up with this list while I was on the airplane and I just sat down and I was like, okay, what do I want to accomplish this for the rest of this year? How am I going to do that? And that's where the rules came into place. And these are rules that I've set for myself. They're not like, you must do this. But it's guidelines to help me get to the very things that I said that I wanted to do. And so understanding what that's going to look like, understanding that I'm going to have to say no to certain things because it doesn't fall in line with what those goals look like for me. So I want to see your goals because accountability is key, right? Right. So with that being said, public service announcement, throwing it out there. 
if you want to spend time with me, attend a cheerleading competition, go to church with me, um, go to a speaking engagement, support my business, plan a vacation. Listen, that's where I'll be. And if you would like to spend time with Tierra, you'll meet me there. <laughs> that's where I'm at at this point. Like, it's just, that's it. Like, I, my time is going to be very protected and very guarded um, because what I've learned is with your money and with your time, if you don't plan it, someone else will plan it for you. And I don't have the time or money to do that. So with that being said, I am focused. I am being very strategic with my time and I'm doing what I want to do. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Oh, and on top of all of that, I'm making sure that I'm maintaining my Sabbath. So on Sundays, those are my Sabbath. I go to church. I relax. I rest. I do whatever I want to do. Um, I do absolutely nothing out of obligation. That's it. Um, but those are what my Sundays look like. And I encourage everyone to have a Sabbath at least one day a week. Um at my last job, my Sabbath didn't always fall on the Sunday because sometimes I had to work on Sunday. So even if you can't pick a strategic, like a specific day, at least one day out of the week, set aside that time to be your Sabbath. And I promise you, it helps you stay focused those other six days because it gives you something to look forward to. It gives you something to say, cool, let me work really, 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 really hard so I can rest on my Sabbath and not have to think about um, anything else really and truly like yesterday was my sabbath and it was amazing amazing for sure and being able to just realize like we need rest we we really do um we were made in god's image and god rested on the sabbath what makes you think that you can go seven days a week 24 7 without resting like our bodies were not created to do that and even if you can keep it up a your body will begin to shut down but b you're not being productive you're just not so with that being said work really really hard six days out of the week and rest really really hard on that last day so in the comments i want to hear you guys i want to hear what are some of the things that you plan to accomplish in the next six months what are you going to accomplish on this final six that we have before 2019 is here like seriously guys it's around the corner um but yeah drop it in the comments i would love to be able to hold you accountable to those goals um what are you going to accomplish how are you going to accomplish do you have any rules that you're going to set for yourself for the next six months Cool. Want to hear from you guys. Thanks.